A loud explosion rocked part of South St. Louis this morning. The blast causing significant damage at this auto repair shop. Now investigators are trying to figure out how it happened. Good evening. I'm Brent Solomon. And I'm Kelly Jackson. Travis Cummings has been on the scene since just after this happened. He is live there along Hampton Avenue. What's the latest on this, Travis? Yeah, Kelly, Brent, we're going to get right to it. I want to show you just how significant that damage was the entire backside of the business caved in. Spire did confirm this was not gas related, so that leaves employees, investigators, and neighbors wondering what happened here. I heard the very loud noise, but didn't feel any, you know, ground shaking or anything like that. Janet Strange is used to waking up to the sound of banging and booming. She lives right next door to Sean's master auto repair. I really didn't think anything of it except that I thought this sounds a little bit louder than I'm used to hearing. And so I uh, and so I looked out the window and saw that the roof was completely caved in. Firefighters were called to the repair shop on Hampton Avenue in South City just before 10 Friday morning. Employees pointing them to an explosion and a fireball shooting up from the building's basement. One man's arm patched up after some of the brick fell on him as he tried to get out. He was in the bay welding on a car. Employees did indicate to us that the only thing that are stored in the basement are some oil tanks, but those oil tanks would still need an ignition source, and that's what we're looking to find right now, what the ignition source was. Natural gas distributor Spire on the scene, concluding the spark wasn't gas related. News neighbors nearby are pleased to hear. Everything has been checked out and everything is safe. The fire department, the gas company, they've all checked out everything. They've checked out the meters. They've checked out my renter's side, so everything is safe. All right, and we did get an opportunity to speak to the owner, the owner's son who was injured. Uh, I can tell you that he is doing OK right now as uh, fire investigators work to learn more about what caused this explosion. We'll hear from that son coming up tonight here at six. We're live in South City for now. Travis Cummings five on your side.